video, I'm going to talk about enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts that act on a specific substrate. In the previous video, I explained what catalysts were. So basically, a catalyst helps increase the rate of the reaction so that the reaction goes faster. Meaning that, in other words, enzymes are just molecule, biological molecules that will act on a specific substrate to make the reaction form product in a faster way. Uh, enzymes are reaction specific, meaning that they won't bind to each substrate, but they're specific to what substrate they bind. So just by having an enzyme in your reaction doesn't mean that it will already go quicker. You will ha you'll need to have the specific enzyme, the correct enzyme for it to actually work. Finally, enzymes vary in their temperature and pH range. So some enzymes, like the ones in your stomach, are very acidic, and that's where they will be optimized. That's where they will work the best. And also, some enzymes are used to, to warmer temperatures or colder temperatures, depending on where they are usually located, and that will help them uh, work better. So in chemistry, what matters a lot about enzymes is their catalyst function. So this is how the reaction will usually go. First, there's going to be an interaction between the enzyme and the substrate. Then the, the enzyme substrate complex will form and finally product will be formed and the enzyme will regenerate. So as I said in the previous video with catalyst, when you add a catalyst at the beginning, it will also exit at the end, so it's not part of it's not, it's not part of the products. It just leaves, and that is what happens with enzymes. So in a reaction way, you have your enzyme and your substrate. You add them together to form the enzyme substrate complex, that is the ES right here, and finally you will form products, and so these are your products right here, and the enzyme will exit to be used again. So you would go back here, pretty much. One final thing I wanted to talk about was the turnover number. So this just measures the activity of the enzyme. The turnover number is written as K cat, so that's the K of catalysis. And it's also known as mo the molecular activity of the enzyme. And its definition can be a little complicated to understand first, but let's try to break it up. So it's the maximum number of molecules of substrate an enzyme can convert into product per enzyme molecule per unit time. So it really helps looking at how the reaction goes, what the steps are, to understand this definition. So it's the maximum number of molecules of, of substrate an enzyme can convert into product. So that is this part right here. So this is going to be our KCAT. So we, we have the enzyme substrate complex and we want to know what is the maximum number of molecules of substrate. So what is the maximum number of this right here that the enzyme, this enzyme, so it goes to the ES, can convert into product. So how many products can we get with this enzyme? So basically, if we have, so for this part right here, per enzyme molecule, if we have one enzyme, how many products can we form in a given amount of time or, or per given am amount of time out of the available substrate? So let's look at, at an example. So we have DNA polymerase 1. And the turnover number is 15. That is our KCAT. And the units are uh, reciprocal seconds, reciprocal time. So what this means is that if we only have one enzyme of DNA polymerase one, we can have we can form a maximum of 15 products per unit of time. That's per second in this time. And that is the turnover number for DNA polymerase one. The turnover numbers vary drastically. Some could form 40 million, some could form 0.5. It really depends on the enzyme. 
and that's all I wanted to talk about for enzymes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.